the grid. Steve Tomes is on pole position for this race. Uh, yesterday, he came from the back of the grid to win. And this is the first time that we'll be using a new mega lap system, which we'll talk to you about in the commentary box. Second position here, Joe Barton is out on a Honda, not a Kawasaki, but he's been up there. He got his first ever win yesterday. And look at this, Daryl Harrison, the docker, as he's known, number five in third position. And then we've got James Pickford, number 27. A few new names up at the front. Robin should be an interesting one. Yes, indeed, Steve. Oh, it's uh, Louis Oster there. A little uh, commemoration of uh, Marco Simoncelli. That uh, red flags at the front of the grid means that Sid's pointing at the lights. Goes off on his march. And the Bridgestone Plus Sport 500s are ready to roll. Steve Turns getting the front wheel up. That's uh, mirrored by most of the rest of them on the grid. And it's a big charge down into Gerrard's. Good start, though, Steve, for Lewis Osler. Yeah, Lewis Osler getting away from the line and having a brilliant end to the season. That was James Pickford just on the inside of the front row there. Really struggling to keep both wheels on the deck, but it is Steve Tomes that leads. No Andy Lawson, the champion is not here. Adam Shelton, likewise, the runner-up of 2011. He's saving the pennies for a Superstock 600 ride with Thundersport in 2012. You see, further back, uh, Mike Bailey, or Dynamite Bailey, as he likes to be here. He's in the midfield, thoroughly enjoying himself at the moment, but uh, also good to see Steve towards the front of things. He's about uh, fourth or fifth at the moment. Number 42, Chris Speak, who's been putting in some very improved performances over the latter half of the season. Yes, uh, Chris, especially the, the last two rounds, has been very, very close to the podium. In fact, got a podium finish yesterday, looking for another one here today. But it is at the moment Lewis Osler that leads, but is that about to change Steve Tomes? You could say a specialist around Mallory Park in second position. Joe Barton, a rider who's got his Kawasaki up for sale this weekend, that's why he doesn't want to ride it, has uh, gone onto a Honda in preparation ready for the next, uh, next season's title chase. And well, he's been going very well. He took his first ever win and he's just up ahead of Christopher Spink in third place. Yep, Steve Tomes. Okay. Very racing there in second, and you'd have to say uh, things could have been different in the championship this year had Steve Tones elected to take part in all the rounds. Very, very experienced uh, competitor indeed on all sorts of machinery, and of course, an inaugural champion of uh, Thundersport GB four seasons ago. He picked one of the first championships, and this year he's been concentrating more on classic racing. He's taken in. 500 rounds as well, but he's always shown well when he's been up there. He has indeed, yes, and he's up into the lead now. Number 54, Steve Tomes, up the inside into Gerrard's. His lap times, by the way, well under the lap record, so uh, that is a lap record held by himself, so he'll be very pleased with that. They, those are the sort of records that Steve likes taking more than race wins. Funnily enough, in third it is still Joe Barton ahead of Christopher Spink, a little bit further behind. We've got Rob Morby, Daryl Harrison, third position overall in the championship a little bit further back well, up from it brings through the John Cooper S as they come there we see Joe Barton on the Honda now still wearing his Kawasaki green leathers but uh, of course a number of 500cc machines are eligible for this championship and the Honda Kawasaki up to now of Joe Barton, but uh, I think it's a question of uh, if you can't beat him, join him. And my goodness me, this first weekend on Honda for Joe, and he's right up the front, and as you say, taking his first race win. Yes, uh, his first ever podium as well, that race win was. Lewis Osler, of course, got his first podium back at Alton Park and is following that up at the moment. He's in second, but no one can keep up with Steve Tomes here. His lap time's about a second quicker than Osler that time around. Yeah, there's that great battle going on behind and uh, Chris Pink just getting the better of Joe Barton for a moment and there we see walking away there, there's a bike down. That's James Pickford. Yeah, oh, what a shame. Uh, yep, number 27, James Pickford, he's uh, up at okay though. There is uh, number 20, that's Dave Levin, you know, just getting lapped there by Steve Tobes. And the number 54 rider sees the last lap flag. 
the map the time around, uh, another 59 for Steve. So constantly under the lap record, a brilliant ride from the experienced rider from Burton on Trent. Yep, Steve's coming this at the front. Uh, still got Lewis Osler there in second place, but he has been dropping away from the ferocious pace set by Steve Tones. Steve comfortably bring it through Edwina's once again, and for the last time through the John Cooper S's and up the hill towards Shores. A short circuit, Mallory Park, Steve, but it, it does offer an awful lot of variety in its very short length, doesn't it? Yeah, and there are also quite a few places for overtaking manoeuvres. You see a stationary yellow flag, and it's up ahead, but uh, there's certainly no resting. Leg out there from Steve Tomes, though. The number 54 machine is going to cross the line in first place and take the win here in the Bridgestone Thundersport 500s. Yes, that uh, yellow flag, I think, because Nick Clift had uh, gone down there uh, at the elbow. But um, another good win for Steve Tomes, then. Very happy he'll be with that. He wins it from Lewis Osler in second. Joe Barton up there in third. Chris Fink fourth. Rob Morby fifth. And Daryl Harrison bringing it home in sixth place. And there we see Steve Tomes on the podium in between Lewis Osler and Joe Barton. Steve, uh, always good to have you back in the paddock. Uh, that white race went to plan pretty much from start to finish. Yeah, I was, uh, I was keen to get, get out of there and get going as quick as I can. And... Uh, it, it, it did go to plan, really pleased with that. Surprised to win by so much. Uh, but the bike was absolutely crack on. Um, running perfectly, thanks to Racing Lines of Derby preparing it. And my friend Chris Johnson, uh, who I've mentioned before, been helping me 20 years now, over 20 years. So thanks to him and Rob Morby. Um, yeah, just really enjoyed it. I'd, I'd like to thank all the marshals and everything for all the work they've done all year, particularly for yesterday after I left quite a big job to do between races. So thanks to them especially.